guys, Long Haul Larry Big Blue. We are actually sitting here at this Petro. It's right down here by Portage, Wisconsin. And I'm on my way down to Texas and I got a bunch of rain going on and everything else. And my low beam is going on again. It stopped actually messing up. But you can see, I don't know how good you can see that. But it's all burnt up. So basically I'm gonna replace it. I stopped in here and they got a repair place over there and they actually had some connectors so I bought some new connectors and I'm going to be replacing this real simple fix basically I'm just gonna pig tie these in put some heat shrink connectors on there and then that will plug in there I'm trying to make sure that the, that it's the same before I go cutting any wires. Oh yeah. Yep. Cool. But I've actually gone through a couple light bulbs here. So we're gonna fix this up. So pretty simple. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna put the connectors, make sure they're going the same direction. So the wires match up. And then I'm just gonna just cut the wire. There we go. I would like to put some anti-corrosion stuff in there, but I don't have any. I didn't see any for sale in there. And uh, I'm losing my headlamp going on the road and this rain and stuff, I can hardly even see. So I kind of actually do not want to be doing this right now. Because I'm kind of tight on hours. But I got to be able to see what I'm doing here. So we got to get this done. go gotta cut this one just a little bit back further Hold on here. Man, this, these uh, strippers are terrible.
There we go. We got this little torch seal. We got. Shrink them all up, seal up the ends so moisture doesn't get in there. And these connectors, they have like a glue inside of them too. So it kind of fills the voids up. If there is any void in between the wire and the, and the connector, but it uh, keeps the, everything connected there. All good. So we're gonna stick that down in there decent. Kind of fold that down in there. And plug our light in. There we go. See if it works. Yep, we got a working headlight. Good. I'm gonna wiggle the wires around. Oh, this stays lit. <laughs> All right, finally. I haven't. It hasn't been bothering. It hasn't been going out, and then just the last couple days, it's just been going. And I've actually, uh, I've had to stop and buy a new headlamp. And now today it's been acted up too, and it, like I said, it's raining out here and dark, and I just can't see, so I had to pull over and take care of this. So I'm gonna throw my tools back in there and get back on the road. Well, guys, welcome to Fort Worth, Texas. I have been in rain the whole way down here. I have not driven it. It, it, I have not had any drive time in no rain situations. <laughs> it's, I don't think I've done a whole drive all the way from Wisconsin to Texas. It's been raining the whole time. But we made her. I'm actually going to try to pull into the place and park in there. I usually park out on the street. But the last time I was in here, I came in here in the morning, I noticed there was trucks parked in here so I'm gonna see if they'll let me in if they won't then I'll have to just pull back out on the street but next load I'm gonna be picking up at that same place that I picked up I think it was last week yeah yeah same place picking up at that same place uh, going to uh, Pennsylvania again going up to Allentown This is per 
pretty tight. that I usually park on is really crowded right now. So hopefully they'll let me in there. Man, it's Landstar, 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 all the way down Landstar. I love this guy, how he parked. <laughs> That's an awesome way to park. Now, if the police don't come by there and kick that guy out of there, I don't know what the deal is. guys I'll see if they'll let me in here I hope they will so over there on the right I last time I came I can see a truck over there now park so hopefully they'll let me park in here but we'll see if they do otherwise I gotta try to find some place to park I can't park on that road that I usually park on because there's I can't even get down that road right now so we'll see well, hey guys, I am empty down here in Fort Worth. I am actually just over here at the pilot. It's like a couple blocks away. Uh, just finishing up my break, and I was just ready to leave out of here. And look at this thing right in front of me. This Bud Van Lines. He pulled in and backed in next to me. I didn't have my camera on. Move out the way, JB Hunt. You're just in the way. But look at this thing in front of me. It's basically like a straight truck with a trailer, kind of like a UPS, except it doesn't have the tandem hookup. It's the whole kind of trailer thing. It was pretty cool. I got whipped that thing right in there. He's pretty good with it. And um, I bet you I think you get into some really tight residential streets. It could drop that back trailer and go in with just the, the truck. But if you look at it close, those are like containers on there. And they have the same lift points and all everything as a intermodal container. So I bet you anything they can do that. I bet you they can hook them on, to, drop them off at a train yard or something, and ship them across the country. That's pretty cool. It's out of New Jersey there. I don't know if they have it across the country or something. It's pretty cool though. But I am running over to my next pickup. And 
And this place is a little bit tricky to get into my next pickup. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll record in there when I come in there and you guys can see how tight it is. It's, it's pretty sketchy coming in there. Alright, the place I'm going to is actually just off the highway here to the left. But to get in there, it's a little tricky. I missed it the first time I went down here last week. And if you go past it, it comes back at 30 here, and it's a 13-4, something like that bridge. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. And I quick turn back on the 30 eastbound. <clears throat> I can't remember if this has a... I think this is a double weight, if I remember correctly. I had to turn on 30 eastbound and run down a couple miles, do a U-turn, and come back. And then try this again. But they really just don't have very good signs. Second time I came in here, I actually made a mistake too, but I was still able to get in there. <clears throat> well, we're going to see if we can get in there better this time. This car out here is going to be a problem. I can see this already. made it. Alright, not this street. This is the one I turned on last week. I was able to do it, but actually the next one. This one doesn't look too much like a truck place. <laughs> My daughter, she got over in Minnesota when she got married. That's what, that's what the building was she got married in. It was the Women's Club of St. Paul or whatever. It was a real old historical building. But right here it is. I mean, there's no signs or nothing. It's a little tricky to get in here. And there is no room whatsoever. And the gate is open. time I came in here the gate was closed. I guess they're gonna just leave it open. We're gonna go. You'll see how it gets in here. Bunch of trucks in here. Yep. Actually, the these guys dropped the trailer. Look at this. Look at this right here. <laughs> My goodness. what 
this guy's doing. Probably just waiting for this continental guy. Yep. But this is how you gotta pull in here. They want you to pull right up alongside that fence like this. It's pretty crazy. A little tight in here. Well guys, we are loaded up. Loaded up from Dannon. Uh, I just jumped out onto the highway. And we're gonna take off and run. I gotta get off her here. Something's dinging at me. It's my phone. Um, we are loaded up. We got about 32,000 pounds of yogurt and it's all crunch vanilla. Heading off to Allentown, Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's still misty rainy here. Still doing that thing. Got myself 1,492 miles to go to my destination. Probably just slow down a little bit. Rolling down this here hill. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can knock out a pretty good chunk of this. Let's see if I can knock out like half of this today. And then I'll do my 10 hour break and then tomorrow get up and finish it. And that should put me in there like late Saturday night or really early Sunday morning. Uh, he hasn't given me direction on what I'm doing next. I guarantee I won't be doing that load I did last week. I guarantee that. That will not happen. I sent him a message at the end of that whole thing and said, if you send me another load from them people, I will just turn the key off. End of story. I'm not gonna argue about it, nothing else. I am not doing it. <laughs> and he replied back to me, he says, yep, don't worry about that one. He said, oh, we're done with them. So I don't know, maybe I'll be doing that three-stop pickup thing in New Jersey, or who knows, maybe I, since I'm gonna, I'll be empty Sunday morning, maybe I'll be running back down to Mount Crawford or something, who knows? Who really knows? So, I think I'll let you guys go. Just rainy, rainy, rainy stuff. We're just gonna be making our way across the country. So I hope that everyone out there has themselves a great day, great night. As they're watching this here video, if you're not, certainly could try that all over again tomorrow. I will talk to you guys later. See ya.